This is a recipe of mine that I use quite frequently whenever I have a bath that likes to say, Oh, everybody noticed me for whatever reason I want them to notice me for. It's a double-edged sword because, you know, if you're doing anything to have people notice you, go towards you, be all like, oh, pretty. Yeah, it pulls, brings people's attention to you. So if you need, like, a specific mix to have someone in particular, you can use this same thing too. Just make sure that your whole intention is like, okay, this person I'm focusing on to have come towards me. Rather than be like, hey, everybody, look at me. Because they'll start looking at you for no reason. I know. It's annoying after a while. Anywho, what you're going to need is, well, at least for my mix, you don't have to have all of these exact things, but these are just some suggestions. In fact, you only may only need one, but I like mixing stuff. First, rose water or rose oil, one of the two. Lemongrass, bergamot, helichrysum oil, Neroli, Yang Lang, Patchouli, Vetiver, Lavender, Jasmine, you can see because of the bloody glare, and last but not least, that this is the only one you technically need. A magical oil. Alright, to make it simple, to keep it in a step-by-step -step process, first always figure out what in the heck you're trying to have be accomplished or be done. You can even keep it as easy as like, I just want to have a nice pleasant bath. That's it. Or you can go a little bit overkill and actually also include putting gemstones into this, but I'm not going to go that crazy today. So, going back to our intent to start, we want to pull people towards us in whatever way, or we're trying to like get more of a aura of like, well, that person, I kind of like this person, I'm going to see what they're all about, or just getting their attention to focus on you, to either listen, kind of have a little bit more push to your word, or along those lines. So, my first starting ingredient will be, I love rose water. Rose water, well, what does Rosa do? Rosa is pretty much the queen of attract and whatnot. And also, another cute little fun fact, Rosa is the only plant that if you consume it, it is able to actually go in and correct what you're lacking regarding nutrients and minerals. It's the only plant that can do that. Next, lemongrass. Lemongrass is somewhat like lemon, but grass is more, a wee bit more sour. But if you want to get even more technical, like I am, lemongrass is the nerve to attract a male to another male. Let me see about this one. For me, bergamot doesn't make the cut. Next up is going to be helichrysum. Helichrysum is a, it's a flower that's primarily used to help like take um, crap, what is that called? Wrinkles. And actually help pull them apart so that way the skin can breathe and look younger. Well, if you're going to be pulling somebody to, towards you, you want to make sure you don't get all 
and the whatnot. It's also a really good skin and wound healer. And I'm also one of those people that believes this. If there's any little bit that misses the mix or like where you're putting it in, if it's just like coming out of the bottle, don't waste it. Use it. Next is Neroli. Neroli is a very, it's a, it's one of the citruses, but Neroli is a kind, kind of a playful type of the citru of a citrus. To me, it is. And usually, the best way to get someone's attention, sometimes. You gotta admit, though, being more playful and childlike kind of makes people go, hmm. where's that obnoxious talking coming from? Catch my drift. Oh boy, here comes the big one. Next up is Yang Lang. This thing! I just hate that thing so much. It's just so rude. Stop it! Quit it! It's like this stupid air vent that likes to come and be like, oh, just gonna, you know, be rude and cut you off. Well, don't make me seal you shut. Back to Yang Lang. Yang Lang's a very, very kind of plant. It's very suggestive. Mm hmm. It's one of those plants. And usually the best way to get people to notice you is like, hmm, what's that smell? It was like, it's that time of the day, huh? Innuendo's gone wrong. Next, just a little bit of patchouli leaf. Patchouli is a very, well, for what it's supposed to like, dirt, to be honest. But it's a very grounding plant. It's also been thought to believe to even help, you know, motivate men. Mm -hmm. Next up is vetiver. Vetiver is similar to patchouli. The vetiver is more well, pretty much imagine if you take patchouli leaf and you put mix lavender with it. Yep, that's vetiver. Vetiver is also a plant that is known to be unkillable. And by unkillable, it's like what? Oh, you pluck me out of the ground? Well, for some odd reason, I just come back. You burn me alive? Nah, I'm still alive. Oh, nope, I'm still alive. Gonna have to do better than that, kid. It's also very thick. Yep, I have a cold. Don't have to worry and say, I hope you get better, because I already am getting better. Thank you, though. Next up, lavender. Well, obviously. I don't know what it is about this kind of lavender, though. It smells like kind of pundit. Anyway, we'll go with it. Lavender is what I like to call... Pretty much, if you watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, like dual lavender, whatever, the closest I can describe what lavender smells like is, pe is Pegasus. Mmm, Yu-Gi-Oh! boy! Yep, there's your lavender. Lastly, regarding of the plant oils, it's jasmine. Jasmine is known as the queen of the night. It's also a very good man intoxicator. And it lulls people. By lull, I mean kind of makes them drift off into sleep. Similar to poppy, but, you know, poppy seeds are... Kind of have a little bit of a 
a hint of banefulness to him. We kind of don't want to be too baneful with this. Let's take the magical oil. And for each ingredient, you can just keep saying the intent over and over again if you'd like. Or if you just want to keep it simple and then charge it up all at once. I'm going to be adding a few more ingredients to this. For my own reason, and no, you cannot know what they are. Not every witch reveals their secret. Mm -mm. Okay then, so we have our mix and it has droplets in it. Can't really see the wet because of the glare, but we'll try this one more time. You can kind of see like how where there's those oil marks in them. Okay, so shake it all together. Or if you would like to do it my way to keep it easy. And then this was this can be like when you say your intent all in once. Most of the time when I do, when I say my intent, I like to just keep it head. And a little bit more rose water. Or we'll just put in more than just a little bit more. We'll put like a, a fourth more. Because, you know, let's just keep sharing it all, why don't we? Actually, that actually made it much better. Uh-oh, I think I made a monster. Uh oh. So then you have bath mix. And then obviously, of course, well, run your bath water, and then you just dump this in. I don't think it gets any more simpler than that. And during the whole time too, another step you can do before you even start making your mixes to ask for for assistance from the astral side. It can be an ancestor, it can be a divine being, it could be a fae, it could be anything. Literally. 